tea and two coffees in bed. And only one of them was made by myself. I'm stitching these together, these little stars. And the way I do it, because I don't enjoy having to break off thread all the time, so I've got a little system that I do. I'll show you. It's, so I select my, my diamonds and I do them in threes. So these three here, I will, oh sorry, I wasn't filming it. I will connect my thread here and I will stitch these together, whip stitch them get to this end and then I'll whip stitch all the way up there. Then I do the same on this, so I'm not breaking the thread. I've got one thread that goes all the way from there, down and all the way back up. Then I get the three here and place them on the three here, like that. I'll show you properly later, possibly. I might not, I might forget. There's loads of things I think I'll video for you guys and for myself, for my future me, and <laughs> I'll forget. And then I whip stitch along that edge there. So I've only got three starts and stops of a piece of thread. in my washing the laundry that Bill brought in last night it was wrapped up it was trapped I don't know if the little darling's gonna gonna make it because I don't know if he's a bit thirsty I can't even see what I'm filming because it's so bright out here oh look he's on am I filming that is that in focus there's bees and flies everywhere Oh, there you go. Oh, he is loving that. Look, he's got his little proboscum out and in the flowers already. Ah, oh, am I filming that? Can you see that? Oh, look. Oh, you are such special, special creatures. Oh, look, another one there. Honeybee, that one. I've got another one there. I really hope this is all in focus because it's so bright out here, I really can't see. Oh, you are so magical. I want to stroke your little bottom. It's so fluffy. Look, there's Honeybee. I think that's Honeybee anyway. Probably completely wrong. My father-in-law, Popper, will be cringing. Have I not taught you anything? Have I not taught you anything? Let's have a quick look out here today. Let's see. Oh, I don't know what's going on with the neighbours. Look at that. Oh, look, this is where I was watering, watering over there yesterday. Look at this. Look at it. Why is this not fixing? And there we go. Oh, my Lord. Ooh, we've got some aphids there. I'll leave those for the birds now. This plant is big enough and healthy enough to cope, so I'm not going to stress over that. Look at all the buds. Oh. If you have only space for one rose in your garden, I highly recommend Queen of Sweden because she's beautiful. Look at all the stages. Right, so here's the bud. Here it's just opening. A little more open here. Very open here. Look inside, yellow. Yellow in there. And then, you see, once once these flowers, so once these three of four have all done, well, this one here, what is wrong with my phone? This one here probably won't open. But once these two have, and this one's gone over, I'll cut it here, and then this, will shoot up and I'll get the same again. And look how thick and healthy, look how thick and healthy these stalks are. And it's not too thorny, it's not the most, in fact, I don't even see any thorns. Look at that 
stalk there. That is just so strong. It's amazing. It's a beautiful rose. It's such a good rose. I haven't taken cuttings from it. I intend to. And I think that because these um, stems are so robust, I think it would take really well. Right. I've got my... Um, um, I've forgotten what these are called. They're huge yellow and they grow as tall as a house. What are they? Sunflowers. My sunflowers here from seeds that Rachel, so, Mo so Raimi, sent me. And I've got some sweet peas here that my friend Jules, So Sweet Violet, sent to me. Gotta pinch out some of these before I plant them out. Make them nice and bushy. Um, I wasn't really lucky with germination this year. Oh, not doing that very well. Probably mullered that. Uh, but I think I've got enough here. Yeah. I think these are ones I collected from Wilf's school. They had a lovely load just growing out of the school garden. So I took some seeds from them. I think these are some left over from last last year from my plants. Um, seeds, I mean. So I'm going to go and plant those up in the kitchen patio area so I can smell them and see them and keep an eye on them and make sure that predators don't get them. I'm wearing one of my beloved pinnies. Look how dirty it is now. Fresh on this morning. But that's what a pinny's for, isn't it? And I'm excited because... I'm excited because I've got a new podcast pal, Mioka, and her mum, Linda. They've got this very new... Well... They might be on their seventh episode now, so it's not very, very new, but new to me. I've only come across them the last sort of month. Um, lovely podcast that they come from British Columbia in Canada, and um, I just like it. I love it. I enjoy watching it, and I, I love the things that they make. Anyway, the reason why I'm excited is because Mayoka has started making aprons like this and she's sourced some gorgeous fabric and jeweled colours and I noticed on her Instagram stories the other day she said apron making who wants one so I did an emoji of me me I want one and she came back to me saying seriously do you want one I was like are you selling them she said that she is that she's making them and selling them because she's not working at the moment and she's self-employed it's just a time filler and a way to supplement her diminished income so I was chuffed because I wouldn't have time to make myself another one at the moment and two is not enough so I've ordered a deep green which is not a colour I would ordinarily go for but it just looks so lovely and I thought yeah let's throw caution to the wind so Mioka's making me one and when our postal system has sorted itself out, she she will post it to me. But at the moment, I'm not optimistic it would get here very well. My friend Sandy, Twiggy Toes, um, sent me a birthday card a month ago and it arrived yesterday, which I think is amazing since it's come all the way from Australia. And our postal system is in a bit of chaos at the moment. Why am I holding my phone when I've got my tripod there? Habit. <sighs> right, this is not getting anything done and my phone's going flat. So I need to um, charge it up while I do this because I still haven't edited yesterday's vlog. Yeah. Ow. What do you mean, ow? I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't hurt. Did it? <laughs> so why did you 
just like, ow. All right. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't even work. What do you mean? It's <laughs> your problem. Hold it away. Where's your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> this is the Sweeney Todd. Oh, that's really cold. Go! Uh... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> right, no, stop. Oh. stop. Should we do this tomorrow? No, I'm doing it now. I'm on it, I'm on it. I've got all my equipment out. Right, what are you doing? Well, don't move your head. <laughs> Imagine if that was the clippers and you moved your head. Oh, no. My beard could do with a bit of a trim. Noms don't like oranges. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> what are you doing? Does it look all right? Yeah. I don't know, I'm not really paying any attention. <laughs> <laughs> the feet's out of the way. I need to move around you. <laughs> and if you've got your feet up like that, <laughs> would you just shut up? <laughs> I wonder if I went like this. No! No! Right, just stay still. Yeah, that would be too short. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? What the heck have you I done? I haven't done anything. <laughs> well, I have. I've cut your hair, but I haven't done a bad job yet. I've never had a hairdresser walk around the front of me. Well, that's because they don't feel as comfortable with you because you're threatening from the front. <laughs> <laughs> and they have a mirror. They can see from the front with a mirror. But I can't see from the front with a mirror because I haven't got a mirror. This is what they should do in the head. <laughs> 